If you want to make roadmaps featuring data on the Epic level, high level views of your project data in JIRA, then you are here in the right place to learn how to do that. I'm gonna show you a couple options, including what JIRA offers as a built-in feature, and I'll show you some more economical options as well. So first and foremost though, let's get started with talking about Epic Roadmaps 101. Uh, they're often used for portfolio management when you're managing multiple projects in JIRA. And you want to have a very high level look at all of them. That's really the gist of why most people end up making epic roadmaps. They're especially helpful when you are speaking with stakeholders who are in the C-suite or high level folks who do not want to get into the granularity of it all. They don't want to be in the weeds. They want to see the high level view. So that bird's eye view really allows you to see things holistically. Obviously, JIRA has a very hierarchical way of structuring data and being able to filter away the subtasks, the tasks, the smaller issues, and just focus on the epics, you are able to see things at that holistic level. First and foremost, I'll start by showing you the couple of roadmap options that are available built into JIRA. Spoiler, only one of them is actually workable for this epic roadmap that we're talking about today. And so we have the timeline, formerly known as BASIC. It's available with free and standard plans. Uh, but as you might see here, bolded, uh, you can only visualize one JIRA project with timeline, which brings me to advanced roadmaps, formerly plans. You do need a JIRA premium or enterprise subscription, but if you have one of those subscription levels, then you can visualize multiple JIRA projects in one roadmap. So this really is the only built-in roadmap feature that helps you be able to make epic roadmaps in JIRA. You know, Atlassian is very clear about the distinction between these two. Uh, the timeline is targeted at a single software team with one project per roadmap. So obviously that is not what we need for the uh, epic roadmap that we are seeking to make. So advanced roadmaps uh, is available, like I said, if you have that premium or enterprise level, but if you don't, then you cannot use this uh, feature without upgrading your entire, everyone on in your organization um, would need to upgrade to the premium, premium or enterprise level. You can't just have a couple people who maybe need to make the roadmap upgrade the way it lasts the structures, their pricing plan, everyone needs to upgrade. So it can be costly. They also don't have milestones. Um, and with these advanced roadmaps, you can't really share these roadmaps externally with folks who are outside of JIRA. And there's not as many color coding options as there are with uh, the other option I'm going to go into in just a little bit. But if none of these are deal breakers, you're on premium already, you don't need milestones, you only share the roadmap with other JIRA users, and you don't care too much about color coding then I'm gonna show you really quickly advanced roadmaps and then we're gonna go back and look at another option that's available for you if you're not on premium or enterprise. Here I am setting up a plan, otherwise known as an advanced roadmap because I have a premium subscription uh, in JIRA. So I'm going to name it something kind of generic and give myself private access initially. Perhaps I will grow more comfortable with sharing it once I have it to my liking. Uh, and as you can see, I am able to restrict who can or cannot access it. And then here, this is really the key part. I am able to choose what boards, plural boards, I am going to visualize in this roadmap. So this is really the crux of what 
makes advanced roadmaps a uh, option for people who want to look at things on the Epic level. You can choose from multiple projects, different projects, bring them all in into one roadmap and then add filters and other configurations to make them exactly the way you want them to, to look. Um, unlike the JIRA timeline option, which only allows you to show one JIRA project, as you can see here, I am adding quite a few. And once I have the projects chosen that I want to appear in the roadmap, I can play around with it, configure it the way I want it to look. As you can see, the data is nested and another little nuance that's different about advanced roadmaps than the uh, timeline option is that you can actually drill down to the subtask level, which for an epic roadmap is probably not as relevant. Nonetheless, uh, you are able to move the bars around and I could even add filters to decide what I do and don't want to display. Now, if you don't have a Jira premium or enterprise subscription, then perhaps the demo I just showed you is not super relevant for you. Therefore, let's go over other Epic roadmap options um, where you don't need that subscription level. So firstly, I'll just say that Atlassian Marketplace, I believe there's over 5,000 apps in it. It can be overwhelming when trying to find the right app for you. Um, and the reason why I'm going to focus on Visor, number one, I work there, full disclosure, this is Visor's YouTube channel, but also because Visor is not actually a plugin. A lot of the plugins that you're going to find in the marketplace have a similar dilemma as the advanced roadmap option has, which is you need to buy plugins for everyone in your org. You can't just buy for a handful of people. And similarly, if you want to use advanced roadmaps, you have to upgrade your entire organization to Jira Premium for that. So I'm going to go over Visor because you can create an Epic roadmap for free. And you don't have to pay if you do end up upgrading because you want more of our features. You only need to pay for who is actively editing and making a roadmap. So I'm going to go through what Visor is. Um, you can, first of all, share Epic roadmaps with anyone in Visor, even people who don't access Jira, because we offer a bi-directional Jira integration. We have both a two-way sync with Jira and a one-way sync with Jira. The one-way sync allows you, if you only want to visualize your data, you could do that with the one-way sync. The two-way sync allows you to visualize your data. And if you want, you can also push out changes back to Jira. We also have a JQL importer, which lets you import more than one Jira project. So this is really crucial when we're talking about Epic Roadmaps. Right, So we really want to be able to pull in multiple JIRA projects. And you can also add milestones, which is not a feature that is available in either of the JIRA built-in roadmap options. Uh, when you first import your data, your JIRA data, into Visor, it will actually first go into a spreadsheet. That's the backbone of our product. And we have the nesting intact that you already set up in Jira. In fact, we also import the dropdown selections that you have and a lot of details that you put time into when structuring your data in Jira. We honor all of that. And so you're first going to see it in a spreadsheet. And then you're going to be able to transform it into a roadmap and color code it and filter it to your liking. So the filtering is really critical because you can actually choose to filter what level nesting you want to show. So if you have multiple JIRA projects in a roadmap, you can filter to just show epics. And you can also filter based off of assignee or whatever criteria that you see fit. You can then share your roadmap with literally anyone. Now, are there any Visor limitations? Of course, every software has some limitations. And for Epic Roadmaps in particular, you are going to need JQL 
in order to import multiple JIRA projects. We actually have a JQL starter guide on our blog to help you. And we also have a knowledge base and very excellent customer support. So if you need any help, just let us know. Also currently, dependencies is a few weeks away. It's something that we're actually working on. In fact, if you log in to Visor today, September 6, 2024, you will see a note asking people to meet with us because we want to know how we can make this feature the best it can possibly be for our users. So if you're watching this far out in the future from this date, then we most likely actually already have it and you should come and check out the feature and let us know what you think. So the benefits though of Visor is it's a free way to bypass the limitations of Jira's free timeline option without upgrading for advanced roadmaps. You also can share your epic roadmaps with anyone, even people who are outside of Jira. And we also offer other features like milestones that are not available in JIRA and they help you communicate your project data, your project plans, tell a story with your data with stakeholders. And so we're always looking to add new features and upgrades to help you do just that. You can find Visor in the Atlassian Marketplace. We have a listing with lots of great reviews or you can go to Visor dot us and get started for free no credit card is needed and let us know we're always just a chat away our customer support is excellent and if you have any questions at all feel free to chime in in the comment section of this video or by writing in i look forward to you trying out visor and letting us know what you think have an awesome day